It could be that the best things that you like about yourself are the biggest things holding you back. Hi, it's Ulysses here from SSW TV. I'm going to talk to you today about strong suits. So these are parts of your personality that you like. What about you do you like about you? What takes you through the hard times? What has got you as far as you've gotten today? These things uh, people get very attached to, and the problem with it is that they become uh, addicted to that way of being, and they are forced to be consistent to it even when it harms them. This may sound ridiculous. If you're um, friendly, what's the problem with being always friendly? If you're smart, why is it bad to be smart? If you're tough, what could be the problem with being tough, right? The issue is when it goes too far or you find yourself in a situation where that just doesn't help you. And in fact, the opposite would help you better. So from my personal uh, experience, I got through life by being friendly and likable. And if someone didn't like me, it would cause me all kinds of psychological distress. I just couldn't handle it. I'd have to fix it. So that's, that's helped me in a lot of ways because it, it built a lot of good relationships around me. But when I got into sales, I couldn't uh, go up to someone at a sales conference and say and push my product or my services because I was worried that they'd think I was a, you know, a slimy salesperson. They wouldn't like me. When I got into management, I couldn't come down on someone who was late and say, you've got to stop being late because being that harsh with someone was very uncomfortable with me because I wanted them to like me. It was this it's kind of pathetic when you think about it. But actually, this is something that we all deal with. Uh, another one could be if you're tough, you know, you'll probably think that being tough is very important and uh, you would never put yourself in a situation where you could be vulnerable with someone or you ask for help, right? Because this, it's counter to feeling like you're being true to yourself. But actually those behaviors can be extremely helpful. Uh, there's so many other examples. You could be loyal. A loyal person will not let go of toxic relationships even when they start to be detrimental to their lives. Um, you know, a... A smart, analytical person won't be able to be, you know, have any whimsy or romance in their lives because it doesn't make sense. Uh, they won't. They won't understand potentially. If you're overly analytical, you may end up going down the path of being overly righteous, where you think, "Oh no, I'm smart. I need to. I need to win every argument. Winning every argument doesn't win your friends." So these these all come from a place um, in your childhood. So your strong suits develop when you're a child and when you're a teenager, and you're put in situations where you feel like you're not enough or you don't belong or you feel unsafe, like psychologically unsafe for some reason. And you'll make some decision based on whatever, whatever perceived trauma you had, you'll make some decision about how you need to be to survive moving forward. And the problem with that is the decision you make at five or six may not actually be as nuanced as it needs to be for you to survive in your 20s, 30s, 40s, right? So the knowledge of that helps you because you're able to let go of the decision that made me be friendly. I can be harsh now because I know that I made the decision to be friendly when I was five because of some little thing that happened in the playground or with my parents or something like that. It's not a big deal to be able to let that go in the moment and say, no, you know, this is a situation where I don't care if I'm liked. I'm in a, I'm in a, a legal issue with someone and I need to be harsh, whatever it is. Okay, so the good news for you is that you're not stuck. This is not stuck behavior. As soon as you can recognize that you're leaning too far on your strong suits and you're unable to be flexible, if you can recognize that in the moment, it allows you to let go of it and do be the opposite. Be whatever you need to be to be effective in the situation. I really hope this helps you. We have a rule on this, which I'll put down below. It's Ulysses from SSW TV. Thank you very much.